Okay, here I have this odd setup. Gonna do a little testy poo again. I was asked by someone who commented on my uh, videos, said if I had refrigerant in a system that was contaminated with air, could I simply take the liquid out and leave the saturated gas portion outside of the system? Say I'd take it into a recovery cylinder and I've got liquid and gas in there and could I blow off a bunch of the gas and take the air with it? Well, there's a number of reasons why you wouldn't do that. Number one, there's uh, moisture in the air and especially these 410A machines uh, we're dealing with now, you really don't want to deal with moisture in them if you can at all avoid it. So you would put new refrigerant in, you'd put dryers and so on. But I wanted to demonstrate what actually happens here. If you have a saturated mix, and this is not a saturated mix, this is just water because it's a demonstration. I can't do it with refrigerant, but so this is just demonstration. This is water taken out of the tap. If that was refrigerant and I'd gotten air in there, there would be air up here with the gaseous refrigerant. But there would also be air entrained in the liquid. There's going to be air entrained in there. When it's, uh, it's in the presence of air, it's sloshing about in there, it's going to absorb very similar to the way water will. So I wanted to demonstrate that there is air in that water. And so I have a method for this. This is something I used to use in the school to teach how I could lower the uh, boiling point of water. I noticed when I first did this, the air came out of the water. So there's air entrained in that water. And I've worked on boilers and I've had air entrained in the water there too. So it was the same kind of thing. So let's watch this. I'm gonna put a vacuum pump on this. And the first thing that's gonna happen is the air is gonna come out of the water. It's not boiling. The first thing that happens when I turn this on is we're going to get air coming out of that water. So let's see what happens. Now you know, you can see all that air coming out. That's the first thing that came out. Now after this gives a little bit longer, it's gonna start boiling. I think it's actually boiling now, but the first thing was the air coming out of the water. Now we're actually boiling water, but that's for another video. So there is air that's going to be entrained in liquid, and refrigerant's going to be the same as uh, water. Air will get entrained in the liquid portion. Now, of course, the short answer is I cannot use reuse refrigerant that has been contaminated with air because there's both air and moisture in there. My field work has always been, if I have to remove refrigerant, I do not put it back in. Now legally, you can put it back in to, from one owner, and if it never changes ownership, then you can do that. You can put this old refrigerant back in. I don't do it unless it's an extremely large job, and it's using something like R22 in it. Uh, then I might try to filter and put it back in, depending on whether the customer actually wanted to do that. But you saw the air immediately come out of the water as soon as I put that vacuum on. Okay, that's it for this little testy booth.